what's up my YouTube family In this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best I mean the best strawberry cheesecake ice cream so let me run down these ingredients before we begin and as usual the ingredients amounts will be listed in the description below okay so you're going to need about seven of the uh, vanilla Oreos two cups of heavy whipping cream here I have one cup of ready-made cheesecake mix I'm using the Philadelphia brand two cups of fresh strawberries that I cleaned and diced up already you can leave them in the chunks however you want to do them one tablespoon of cornstarch two tablespoons of vanilla extract you got some orange juice two tablespoons a half a cup of white sugar and two tablespoons of water so we're gonna start off by cooking our strawberries down into a jam let's go to the stove and I'm choosing to use a medium pot so that I can have room to stir everything together. You can also use a saucepan or, you know, a regular frying pan. Whatever you have will be totally fine to make this, uh, this strawberry jam. To your strawberries, you're going to add your sugar, your water, cornstarch, and your orange juice. All right, we're gonna stir this up and make sure that it's well incorporated. And we're gonna let this cook down on a low flame for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then after that, we'll have our strawberry jam. So here's what our strawberries are looking like about five minutes in. You wanna make sure that you don't walk away from them because you don't want it to burn. So with this, you're gonna have to make sure that you're consistently you know, stirring it so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan or possibly clump up because there is cornstarch in here so you just want to keep that that smooth flow with these strawberries so since these have a few more minutes let's crush our cookies up all right guys so this part here is pretty simple you're just going to take your cookies and put them inside of a ziploc bag of course you're going to close it just crush them up a little bit And here's what they should look like when you're done crushing them. This right here is the perfect size. So after you finish doing these, you want to just set that to the side. And let's get back to our, uh, our strawberries. Make sure they don't burn. To make sure they don't burn. All right, guys. So here's our jam. It's actually coming together nicely as it should. So what you want to do at this point midway in it's kind of like just mash up the strawberries a little bit because they are softer now and it'll be very easy to do so. And the rest of the cooking time, they should break down the rest of the way on their own. You can leave slight chunks, but not too big because you don't want frozen chunks of strawberry in your ice cream, unless you prefer it that way. But uh, this is what I'm going to do. So we'll come back to this in a couple of more minutes and it, it should be done. And it's almost at the perfect consistency as well. So our strawberry jam is done. So I'm gonna turn the flames off. And I'm gonna set this aside and let it cool. Let's get started on our ice cream base. All right guys, so I'm gonna be using a stand mixer for this today. You can absolutely use a hand mixer and also make sure that the bowl that you're going to be using is chilled at least you know half an hour to an hour before you're going to use it so i did chill this uh this part here so i'm going to be adding the heavy whipping cream the condensed milk make sure you get all of it now followed by your condensed milk, you wanna add in your cheesecake filling. So we're gonna start by mixing this low. So guys, I'm going to be mixing this on low and then I'll eventually raise the speed to a medium low until it forms a soft peak. 
So I'll be right back after that. All right, guys, so it's been about 15 minutes since we've been letting this go. And this is what you want to have when I mean soft peaks. You want it to still have a smooth consistency, but still thick. See? So now what we're going to do is start layering our, well, first we're going to add in our cookies and fold that in. And then we'll layer our ice cream. Guys, don't this look amazing? Look how smooth and creamy that looks. That is the perfect consistency. So what we are going to do now is add our cookies in. Okay guys, so off of camera, I forgot to let you guys know that you wanna leave behind, you know, maybe two tablespoons of this uh, cookie, of these crushed cookies so that you can use it for the topping. So for now, we're just gonna, for now we're gonna fold this in. Okay. Now you wanna get your chilled loaf pan or freezer safe container. If you have an ice cream container, you can use that. I have one, but I wanna use a loaf container. I mean a loaf pan and you know, for this, uh, for this mix. So let me get that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so it's time to add our homemade strawberry jam. Look how amazing this looks. Doesn't this look good? Guys, make sure that you are subscribed to the page and your notification bell is on so that you can be alerted whenever I post a new recipe. And make sure you comment and let me know what you think of this video so far. So what we're gonna do is take little teaspoons, probably about six of this homemade jam. Jeez. Then guys, you wanna get a toothpick. To swirl that in. A butter knife will also work if you don't have any toothpicks on hand. Okay guys, now we're gonna add our second half of our ice cream mix. Let's spread that out. All right, when you get here guys, you wanna tap this all right guys when you get to this point you want to give it a tap to release any air bubbles now we're going to repeat the same process Guys, feel free to use however much of this strawberry mix, well, jam that you want. Remember, it's your ice cream, but just make sure that you get it fully incorporated into your ice cream because you don't want it to just sit at the top. So make sure that you do. Guys, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of strawberries to this because I want it all the way through. Remember, this is strawberry cheesecake ice cream. All right. Get 
get those swirls going. Okay, so our ice cream is done. I actually let it sit overnight. So here is the finished product. As you can see, it looks beautiful. All right, so we're gonna actually scoop this out and try some of it. Okay guys, so here you have it, our homemade strawberry cheesecake ice cream. Doesn't that look good? Make sure you guys give this a try and thumbs up this video, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bells for future recipes. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.